In this video, I'm going to show you how you can determine relative rates based on the stoichiometric coefficients of a reaction. So in the context of chemical kinetics, when we use the word rate, we're referring to how fast something is disappearing or appearing. So for example, in this reaction, A and B are turning into C, right? The reactants are turning in to the products. In other words, the reactants are disappearing while the product is appearing. So from that we can say that the change in concentration per change in time of the reactants is negative, while the change in concentration per change in time of the product is positive. So if you want to write the relative rates for a reaction like this, you put one term down for each chemical, one for A, one for B, and one for C. And you can see they all kind of look the same. It's dA, or change in concentration of A, over dt, change in time. This is change in concentration of B over change in time. Change in concentration of C per change in time. And you notice that I put a negative sign in front of the A term and the B term. That's because they're reactants. Their change in concentration per change in time is decreasing, they're disappearing. Well, the C term, dc dt, is positive. That's because it's appearing. It's change in concentration per change in time is positive. So if you want to write the relative rates for a problem like this based on the coefficients, you take the lowest stoichiometric coefficient here, which is 3, and you put that term as a 1. So this is just negative 1 dB dt. Then I take that lowest number and put it in the numerator of the other terms. Then I simply take this coefficient, put it in A's denominator, and this coefficient, and put it in C's denominator. And I'm done. So what this means is that A is disappearing three-fourths as fast as B is disappearing. It means C is appearing three-sevenths as fast as B is disappearing. So let's do the next one. So again, notice for my reactants, I have a negative sign in front of their uh, relative rate terms here. And this is the lowest stoichiometric coefficient, 2. So that means B is going to have a 1 down here, an invisible 1. And then I'll put this 2 in the numerators of the other terms. Then I'll put this 3 down in the denominator here, and this 5 down in the denominator here. And I'm done. So this means A is disappearing two-thirds as fast as B is disappearing. It means that C is appearing two-fifths as fast as B is disappearing. Let's do the last one. So you can see down here again for my reactants I've got negative signs in front of their relative rates and then a positive for C because it's a product. So you can see the two lowest stoichiometric coefficients here are ones in front of the B and the C. That means these two terms are going to have an invisible 1 in front of them. Then I take that 1, I put it in the numerator here, and then I take this 2, put it in the denominator, and I'm done. So this means that A is disappearing one half as fast as B is disappearing. C is appearing just as fast as B is disappearing. So I hope this makes sense. Notice how we don't actually know the rates of which anything is changing in concentration. We just know what they are relative to each other. So I hope this video helped you guys out.